Watch what we do with this picture of a lemon to demonstrate the effectiveness of television. First, we add color. Then, sound and motion. <laughs> and finally, emotion. Now, we don't want to sour you on other advertising media, but let's face it, television works. If that made you feel like a defenseless oyster, it did so in just 15 seconds. The claim is that television advertising carries a powerful punch. British independent television was set up on the assumption that such claims are justified and that the commercials should be a clearly marked off area. In Britain, commercials interrupt the programs. In America, programs interrupt the commercials. <laughs> there are simply too many of them. But even in America, the sponsor is no longer encouraged to actually write the program. There was a time when that was exactly what happened on such programs as Strike It Rich. This really happened 25 years ago. It's not a gag. Well, it's about time to say hello to Mrs. Fanny Taylor of New York City, who's a part-time maid. She's originally from Kutnahora, Czechoslovakia. Oh, hi, Mrs. Taylor. How are you? I'm glad to see you. Oh, I'm to talk to you. Well, what do you want to strike it rich for? Mm-hmm. Tell me. Mm-hmm. Tell me why you want to strike it rich. Does this thing work? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, it does. It oh? Does. Like this, it does. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, all the batteries that I have... Uh, oh, uh, you want to... Oh, I see here. You want to get a new one. How old is this? How old is this set? Oh, it must be six, seven years old. Six or seven? Well, it's time you threw it away and got a new one, isn't it, huh? Yes. So tell me, how long have you been in this country? Oh. Warren, I'm sorry to break in now, but we have a message from our sponsor oh, coming up. Oh. 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 Mrs. Taylor, will you stay right here and then I'll see you after the program and you come back tomorrow, right? Come back tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Yes, we'll see you then. Okay. Oh. Well, now, now, friends, <laughs> now, friends, you're going to see one of the top Hollywood uh, stars who uses lanolin-blessed luster cream shampoo. Luster cream is Hollywood's favorite. Luster cream shampoo. It never dries. Never dries. It beautifies. Beautifies. Luster cream shampoo. The movie star's favorite. Notice how gorgeous Elizabeth Taylor's hair looks in this scene. Like four out of five top Hollywood movie stars, Elizabeth Taylor keeps her hair soft and shiny, easy to manage with Luster Cream, the shampoo that never dries, it beautifies. It never dries, it beautifies, Luster Cream Shampoo. The old lady's ears had packed up, but her brain was still okay, <laughs> which made her different from the people running the program, <laughs> who were working on the assumption that the whole show was advertising space. Eventually, public taste demanded proper programs, but already someone has suggested that the infant cable system here in Britain might, in order to survive, have to show sponsored programs, along with the sort of gunk that the Americans are already used to having pumped towards them through that famous pipe in the ground. Five words in 30 seconds, ready and go! Okay, we have minutes and... Hours. Uh, when you're looking for somebody that is... Looking for some... Seek and... It rhymes with fight. Fight, hide. Uh, if somebody doesn't go out very much, they say they're indoors all the time. Look like hermit. Hermit. Uh, you pick up a luggage rack by the... Handle. Um, a rough sport is you play with a stick on ice. Hockey. Some tough ones, huh? Hermit and hockey. You know, are you a big hockey fan, Vicky? No. No? What's your favorite sport? Football. 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 All right. Your time was 12.6, Vicky, your time was 30 seconds. You lost that round. You'll have to take off two pieces of clothing now. <laughs> Razzle Dazzle is aimed at an increasingly discriminating adult late night audience that like a little spice and fun on television, but is not into porn or explicit X and R rated programming. <laughs> Razzle Dazzle's key to wide viewer acceptance lies in its real people contestants, its game show format, its obvious appeal to both young as well as older adult men and women viewers. Its comedy format, 
live audience, and its live, on-location Vegas feeling all add up to a wide, local audience standard of acceptance. It's a lot of fun for the home audience because it's really a funny show, tastefully mounted with all the production ingredients that keep viewers tuning in each week. All right. <laughs> Michael, you want to look this way? All right, here we go. <laughs> You were very aware, both of you, that round. All right. Razzle Dazzle's talented MC host is one of America's fastest rising new comedy talents. Rick's fast paced repartee and ad libbed comebacks add an element of comedy usually found in only the best of the top network game shows. Rick warms up the series. Strictly amateur contestants makes them feel uninhibited regardless of their state of undress and really moves the action along. We're going to play a series of action games, okay? The first couple to win two games will be declared the champion. Uh, girls, would you move down to that side, please, for us? Quickly, if you will. Thank you. No running along the pool deck, though. Okay. Ready? And go, guys, go! Razzle Dazzle is available on a 52-week, year-round basis in renewable licenses of 26 original weekly episodes. The series is designed for premium cable services as well as basic cable systems on both a standalone and network feed basis. All the necessary multiple runs for each weekly episode, usually required by premium and basic cable services, are available for all Razzle Dazzle affiliates, as well as each licensee also getting automatic six-month renewal options for each series of 26 original weekly programs. Best of all, Razzle Dazzle is very inexpensive as compared to other types of made-for-cable original programming, and it's guaranteed to generate new subs for your system once the word gets around that you're carrying Razzle Dazzle. Well, congratulations, Stephen Sherry, and those last games you really took off. Or should I say, your opponent's fit. In any case, you're our champions. You won $250, plus another $500 for winning the game. Total of $750. Thanks for playing Razzle Dazzle. Thank you for watching Razzle Dazzle. And remember, put us on when you want to watch others. Take it off. Bye. And all this could be ours. <laughs> tastefully mounted with Rick's ad-lib comebacks. <laughs> Our government is making noises about keeping so-called adult shows off cable television. Presumably, Razzle Dazzle does count as adult, the participants being, in the physical sense at any rate, fully developed. <laughs> you could keep the show off the air and still call yourself enlightened. But what about the shows which are meant to enlighten you? A satellite poised above Holland could bring your offspring the J.J. de Bomb show, which introduces young Netherlanders to the facts of life and does so with a sense of humor that makes me, for one, sad to be alive. Is there what, my daughter? Er zijn van die intieme dingen waar meisjes liever niet over spreken, papa. Maar dat kun je mij toch wel vertellen, je vader, hè? Ben jij ongesteld? Zij is ongesteld geworden. Ook hoe is gekomen. Mijn dochter is vrouw geworden. Gefeliciteerd, meid. Koninklijk decreet. Onthoud het goed, hè. Steek onmiddellijk vandaag alle rode vlaggen uit van alle openbare gebouwen. En van mijn paleis. En ik geef het hele volk een superminstru nationale feestdag. Wat zit je nou toch somber voor je uit te kijken, jongen? Het is toch een feestdag? Huh? Van vooruit, ga wat doen. Ga de stoel versieren. Of, of, of ga de tafel dekken. Richt een dis aan, maar doe iets. Ongesteld, zeg. Mm. Wat een feest. Wat fles nou een keertje open krijgen, hè? Kunnen wij tenminste ook een keertje champagne drinken en toasten? Nou, laat die rot fles ook maar. Ze verzinnen wel eens een keertje wat, hè? Ah, mensen, ik breng een toast uit op de menstruaris. Op mijn dochter die vrouw is geworden. Allemaal van harte meedoen, hè? Dan gaat die 1, 2, 3. Bravo! Bravo! Ja, en wie doet er weer niet mee? Mijn zoon, wat heb je nou toch, jongen? Wat is dat? Voor, voor ons is er nooit wat. Voor haar is er altijd feest, maar voor jongens niet. Dat wat ik me pas geleden voor het eerst heb moeten scheren. Vijf haartjes heb ik eraf geschoren. Daar is helemaal geen feest voor gevierd. Voor meisjes is er wel altijd feest. Weet je wat er met jou is, broer? 
jongen, je bent gewoon jaloers. Je bent gewoon jaloers omdat meisjes iets hebben wat jij je niet kunt voorstellen. En zal ik dan eens iets zeggen wat jij je niet kunt voorstellen? Dat ik de vorige week voor het eerst een mooie vrouw heb gehad. Zo'n geen feest nog het is. Heb jij je natte droom gehad, jongen? Mijn zoon is een man geworden. It's that Dutch touch. And don't forget that it's made for children. Your kids will love it. Aren't you glad that the whole thing is out in the open? <laughs> But sexual frankness and true humour aren't always mutually exclusive. The fun-loving Swedes, of all people, devised a sensitive commercial for a small, flexible machine on which the fate of the world could well depend. Do you know? I've got a With pear pillar. Ja, det är okej för mig, men vad hade du tänkt använda istället då? The danger there, of course, is that a less sophisticated viewing public might think that's the way to use it. In part two, we'll look at some of the best commercials from all over the world, but for now, this isn't one of them. It's those laughter-loving Swedes again. <laughs> Mom Cordon Rouge champagne. That's far too good to waste on launching a ship. Haven't you got anything a little? Mum, the champagne that's too good to waste. Motorists, for a really fun day out, bring your family to central London. Mingle with the crowds. Look at all the latest lines. Meet Londoners as they really are. Of course, you could always settle for a tube cheap day return. Travel after 10 a.m. weekdays or any time at weekends and save up to a third. Get a ticket that could entitle you to a fabulous accessory for your car. Yes, you'll have so much fun, you won't be able to drag yourself away. The Commodore 64 home computer has an unusually large memory. Remember? It also has all the peripherals you're ever likely to need. Monitors, plotters, printers, disk drives, and a vast range of software. Which means you'll get so much more enjoyment out of your home computer. The Commodore 64. Remember the enormous memory, but don't forget the peripherals and software. Walls have created a spectacular ice cream dessert called Violetta. But despite its deliciously rich ice cream and its irresistible crisp chalk layers, Violetta could leave you with one small problem. Walls Violetta. One slice is never enough. At the first sign of an irritating sore throat, you need the soothing touch of Strepsils. Strepsils' two active ingredients help fight the infections that cause sore throats and bring fast, effective relief. Strepsils in original or honey and lemon, medicine for sore throats. Ah, oh, Ripper. Where are we, mate? The bloody tower. Oh, it's sport, I only ask. Twit. Alors, coucou. 
Aujourd'hui, avec la crème Drimo, vous pouvez avoir des cheveux. En 8 jours, avec la crème Drimo, les nouveaux cheveux ont déjà 1 à 2 cm. 15 jours plus tard, vous êtes un autre homme, celui que vous n'auriez jamais dû cesser d'être. Avec Drimo, les chauves retrouvent leurs beaux cheveux. Merci, Drimo. Rules about what you can and can't say on television vary from country to country. That was the French boasting about their high advertising standards and doing it through a fake advertisement. In France, bald means bald, even if Giscard was even more self-deluding on the subject than Arthur Scargill. <laughs> But in Acapulco, you can claim to cure baldness. The hairpiece is Adorance. Today in Acapulco, El Prop and his Adorance are taking a little dive. It's a 118-foot drop into only 12 feet of water. But Hal's Adirant's hairpiece is looking good. Good luck, Hal. And they're up. Hal and Adirant's both in perfect shape. The Adirant's hairpiece, it always stays on. His hairpiece stayed on and his trunks came off. In Britain, there are rules about advertising. You can't imply that doctors recommend products. But maybe just as powerful as the rules is the innate squeamishness of the viewer. There's no reason why the British viewer couldn't see commercials like these American ones, except that we're just too used to not watching them. When my husband has a hemorrhoid flare-up, you'd think he was a bear. More doctors recommend Anusol suppositories for hemorrhoids. Anusol is not the one you hear about a lot, but it is the medication more doctors recommend. Anusol soothes, lubricates, in many cases temporarily relieves the occasional symptoms of inflammation like pain, itch. Anusol can also turn a bear mm. into a honey. <laughs> Here I've got you a nice, comfortable rocker. Oh, Mother, no chair is comfortable for me today. Hemorrhoid symptoms? Preparation H. <laughs> yes, millions find relief with Preparation H. Tests by several leading doctors show Preparation H, in many cases, gives prompt temporary relief from occasional pain and itching. Mother, this rocker's marvelous. So is Preparation H. <laughs> for some reason, the Americans feel neither itchy nor uncomfortable saying things like that. Perhaps they're right. But perhaps, when cable comes, we'll be saying them too. But even on cable, we'll never see anything like this. <laughs> My husband and I have ascertained with no little consternation that the genes of the renowned British brand FUs which we so highly esteem, may now also be purchased on the continent. Lately, even in Germany. FU's <laughs> jeans are, incidentally, also available in smaller sizes. <laughs> That commercial won prizes for its wit, but if you had to see it every night for a week, you'd soon get sick of it. The same applies to the commercials in this compilation. As in our last series, we've collected some of the best efforts from all over the globe. Enjoy them in the knowledge that you'll never have to see them again, except when you're in Germany, Sweden, Hong Kong, France, Australia, Japan, or Brazil. This is the new and revolutionary lady shaver from Balita. No other method of removing hair can leave your skin as soft and smooth as the new Valita. It has an advanced system which removes the hair from legs and underarms much better than any other process. Try the new and revolutionary Lady Shaver from Valita. I swear that you will have legs that are as beautiful as mine. Some people seem to need money at the most awkward times. If you have an account with the Hong Kong Bank, savings or current, you can apply for an electronic telecard and access to your money 24 hours a day. Simply slip the card into the computer, punch in the amount you want and presto. The Hong Kong Bank electronic telecard. It's like money in your pocket.
Now I'm going to teach Brazilians how to eat with a stick. It's not difficult, no? Just take one stick like this, then another stick like this, and... <laughs> it's so close. With a stick, it's very easy to eat. Stick, no? <laughs> You wouldn't rubbish your home. Australia's your home. Don't rubbish Australia. The great thing about that last one is that it worked. Or anyway, the campaign of which it formed a part worked. Ten years of public service ads like that one transformed the Australians from a nation of litterbugs into a house-proud people who keep their country clean. So there's such a thing as a brief message that really is a message. It's a thought to cling to when television seems to be telling you that the world is going mad. That was another tense moment from Gaman, the Japanese version of University Challenge. But maybe the British version of University Challenge would perk up if the losers were confronted with something more humiliating than Bamba Gascoigne's sympathetic smile. <laughs> Several Japanese have written in to protest that their television is the most unpredictable, spectacular and entertaining in the world. Having seen some samples, you might agree. But before you start hankering after the same sort of show here, ask yourself whether you've got what it takes to be a contestant. What we saw them doing to that guy was only the setup. Here's how it ends. <laughs> Of Clive James on television was the last in the present series. 